something, but maybe I'm... An accident? <laughs> oh, yo! Yes, y'all, yes. Your boy is pissed off right now. Can you believe this? Like, look at, look at this. We are literally... Not moving. Not moving in Indiana. Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indianapolis. Indiana, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, actually. Thank you. And I was complaining about how strong the winds are and why is everybody flying. I was literally doing like 40, 45 miles per hour and everybody's still doing 70, just flying past. And at me doing 40, 45 miles per hour, I'm grabbing the wheel and I'm like, whoa, 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 like the winds are so strong out here. Yeah, the road is a little, it just got a little drier. It just got a little drier, but the winds are incredible. Doesn't make sense. So, as you can see, way out there, way down, there's like, no, nothing's out here. It's beautiful, like landscape, but in the middle of the highway, it has to be nothing, no other than an accident out here. So, last night we stayed at a Motel 6. And we stayed for about a good, maybe at least 11 hours. 10, 11 hours. We got up, we left about 10, 20 this morning. And right now, we've been on the road for two hours now. Two hours we've been on the road and... We now run into a complete stop. I don't even think this happened along our expressway. Yeah. I thought we left these delays and stuff back in New York. But things happen everywhere. So I, I really don't even know what to say. Uh... This is spoiling the plans here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I do, I do hope, I do hope whoever, whatever happened, that no one, there's no fatalities. But um, we like to get on our way. Yeah, and for whatever I see, you know, from looking in the middle of the, the two lanes here, it stopped a long way. Like, I don't wow. know, it could be half a mile up or something like that. Yeah. If not more. Show that. I don't really don't want to show it. No. But I will. Because my peoples, my peoples need to see everything. Let me. You didn't get out. You should get out. Let me show you guys. Look at that. I don't know how far up. But it is stopped. We're a long way back. Look at my mirror behind us here. Stopped for miles. So. Hi. Yes, this is not cool. I don't like this. I don't know what to say and what to do. Just keeping you guys posted yep. on what's going on. This is gonna be real. This is real short mini video. Where just we're to, at now. Just to let you know the trials and tribulations of what's going on. Oh, matter of fact, let me elaborate on a couple other things here. Uh, let, me, let me show you guys something. Oh, never mind. Some guy just got out of his truck and he just walked to the front of his truck. I don't know what that's about, but anyway. There's, the, the roads have been pretty clear. It's been really a nice smooth drive so far. It's been no issues Until except for now. this. And um, it's not much to see on the road because you're on the highway. So it's not much real sightseeing unless you just like watching, you know, certain. Skiss landscape. Yeah, just the landscape. That's it. Um, not counting this delay here. We have about 20 between 20 to 25 more hours of driving 
So, I don't know. Mm. Well, I don't want to say bye. No, I don't want to say bye yet. I don't want to say bye. I never want to say bye to my people. Yeah, but you got to get off at some point. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, guys. So, to the next time, you know, hey. Be lucky you guys are not sitting in this mess. Because <laughs> this... I mean, there's nothing that's going to depress me nope. at this point. Because for one thing, thank this God... This is just we were, part of the journey. Yeah, part of the journey. Thank God that we're not in any type of, you know, situation. Life-threatening or anything like that. So, you know, once we get past this, then this. we're going to paradise. Mm -hmm. So Living out our dreams. Yeah. So there's nothing to be too stressed out about here. Just got to wait it out. That's all. Yep. I'm going to actually put this baby in park mm -hmm. and sit back and just chill. Yep. So tune in till next time. Yep. Tune in till the next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, new subscribers, old subscribers, people who don't subscribe and just watching. You know, and you know what? Shout out to all the people who aren't committing to be part of the family by subscribing. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys that just watch us. Because there's many channels that I watch and I'm not a subscriber to it. Just thinking about that. What I really want, I know my girl's looking at me now like, what the heck? What the heck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't really know what I'm talking about either, but being that we're sitting here and there's really nothing else to do, doggone it, and you guys are here with us enduring this, I just figured I'd let that little frustration come out because I don't have nothing else to complain about right now. So that's not even really a complaint, man. I mean, you know, like I say, I'm just here I, just so that, that if one person... If it could help them out on any type of level, then my mission is complete here. Mm -hmm. So, subscribe if you may, or not subscribe. That's almost like people that be on Facebook and don't never push the like button, or never push the heart button, or the laughy face, or anything, or I'll never leave a comment, but you're always like reading and looking at people's comments and people's pictures and going through their profile and everything, and you don't never like comment and stuff. Like, hmm. <laughs> this is a good rant right now. Yeah, this, this is wasted a good few minutes. Thanks yeah. for my offer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is what happens when you see this. <laughs> okay. Got well, a lot of time on our hands right now. Yeah. So that's what that's all about. So yeah. So thanks for watching. Until the next time. Oh. GoFundMe.com forward slash. You don't have to be a subscriber to Go donate me. to my GoFundMe. GoFundMe forward slash chocolate vegan I always put it as the first one of the first two comments on the um on the video and uh help your boy out man I mean right now we're wasting mad gas oh yep. let me tell you so far we've invested in our 17 plus 2 our little 20 hour let's say ride we invested about how much in gas? $136. $136 in gas for 20 hours of travel so far, and we still have 20 more hours to go. Yep. Maybe even 25. Mm -hmm. so, so be prepared if you decide to do this. Be prepared, definitely. And like I said, the reason why we even ask for GoFundMe money, because everybody can use help, man. Like, to be yep. honest, like, everybody can use help. I'm going to share as much information as I possibly can, yep. as much info. I'm going to try to provide you guys with more info than what you have ever have gotten before from anybody. Yeah. Because um, people do give info, but they don't really give detailed info. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more than the average person will give you here. Yep. Bring you guys along on the trip, the good times, the bad times, the eh, times yeah so Ooh, 
May I say something? Sure, you can say something at any time <laughs> you like. So one of the things that do you do... want me to put you on camera while you say this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Hi guys. So one of the things I do want to tell you is that if you have to stop at a motel, make sure you have the app Expedia.com. It's it gives you discounted rates. So last night the hotel we stayed in was actually sixty-six dollars. We spent what it was like twenty dollars less than that. Um, it was thirty-three dollars plus tax, which allowed it to be about forty-six something odd dollars. So make sure that if you have to go on a long trip or you're moving make sure that you get try and get as many discounts on anything and everything and when we got food last night the lady yes. asked what's she telling them she yeah. said that um oh did you get a coupon from Mo Mo motel six because they're using those coupons it was ten dollars off i believe wasn't it yes yeah so it was ten dollars off would have been ten dollars off of our bill we went to smokehouse but which by the way had really good food and it was literally across the street from the hotel so, and this was, by the way, the nicest hotel we stayed in, Motel 6. It was awesome. Keep your lights on, or they keep your lights on for you. And mm -hmm. um, also... There was, a, there was a hotel right next to it that right. was double that $66. Yeah, it was like hundred and something dollars. But I have to tell you, I like Hampton Inn. They are one of the best hotels, one of the best places. And if I looked it up on... Experience, it's important to see that finger that she has up, guys. <laughs> so, uh, make sure you have Expedia.com. I wanted to say that. And make sure you go to the front desk before you go out to see if they have any discount coupons because we did not check and ask that question. So it's really good to do that as well. So yeah, just wanted to pass that information along. Like Carrie said, there's a lot of things that we want to pass on to people who are planning on doing stuff like this. My name is Chocolate Vegan. Chocolate Vegan. Sorry, scratch that. <laughs> not, to, not the other name. Um, and uh, that's it. Thanks, and welcome. We, we out, <laughs> y'all. Bye. This is what we out to. We're out to sitting here. <laughs> yes.